Now let's take a quick look at the security tasks for the Network Analyst. This is just a short list of tasks that you may perform in the area of security when you're analyzing network traffic. We can use analysis to perform intrusion detection. We can actually set up Wireshark to filter on malicious traffic. When any of the packets match the filter, we'll see them on the screen. In addition, we use Wireshark and network analysis to identify and define malicious traffic signatures. So for example, if you were afraid you had low orbit ion cannon on your network, then you would be looking for probando, the word probando as a signature. Many of the attack tools used today have a specific signature in them that we can recognize. And those are the signatures that are used by intrusion detection systems. In addition, you can passively discover hosts and operating systems and services by simply listening to the traffic and looking at the address information of who's talking on the network and looking at things such as the port information to see what services are provided on different hosts. We can log traffic, log this traffic for forensic examination. And it's always a good idea to perform a hash operation on your files once you capture traffic and are going to use them in a forensic examination. Wireshark is installed automatically with a tool called CapInfos. And CapInfos, when you run it against a file, will provide you with various hash information about that file. We capture the traffic as evidence. And we can also test firewall blocking. So we can set up a firewall and maybe tell it that we want to block all traffic to or from port 9090. And then from the outside, we would send a SYN packet to port 9090. And on the inside, we would have a Wireshark system listening to determine if that traffic made it through the firewall or not. We also can use Wireshark and network analysis to validate secure login and data traversal. For example, if a customer says that all their email travels in an encrypted fashion, we can test that by capturing the traffic and looking to see if encryption was set up. Now let's take a look at a trace file where we have some malicious traffic. The trace file I'll open is called SEC dash concern 101.pcapng. In Wireshark, we have the ability of looking at a summary of information about a trace file. We can look at all the different protocols and applications that Wireshark sees. This is one of the first steps when working in the area of security when you're analyzing traffic. I'll select Statistics and Protocol Hierarchy. I'm looking for any traffic that I wouldn't expect to see on this network. For example, there's Trivial File Transfer Protocol. We also see some Internet Relay chat communications taking place. When we find something that is suspicious, we can simply right mouse click on that line and choose Apply as Filter Selected. Now we're only looking at that traffic of interest, and here we can see the IRC commands. I highly recommend that you take a look at the Network Forensics Overview course, the course called Detect Scanning and Discovery Processes, and the course called Analyze Suspect Traffic. In those courses, you'll get a chance to work with additional trace files and analyze all sorts of suspect traffic.